Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about the alpha extension. What this allows you to do is layer images with transparency on top of your video. Now I've already got a project set up here, there's quite a lot going on and I've put these robot player onto a MIDI channel and I've already loaded some effects up so if I just hit play you'll see there's some stuff already going on here just so we've got some video to put the images on top of so I'm going to drag and drop my alpha extension just after my player here so here we've got an area where you can drop your files so this is your image files I'm going to use the ones that come with the Zwilbot suite and I've created this folder just called my choices which is just some of these that I've selected to use for this video so I'm just going to drag and drop the folder onto this box here and now all of those images have loaded up here so this works the same way as this video drop down in the player does so if I just hit play, so without it, this is what we've got. And then with it, it's layered up these dot images. And then I can use the drop down to jump between these different images. So there's one of a smiley face, some stripes, a pattern. And I can also use these back and forward arrows to jump between them. Here I've got a beat control, what that'll do is randomly jump to different vid, uh, images based on your master beat control. So I've got it set to quarter notes, so now when I turn this on every beat it's going to jump to a random image. Here we've got some different blend modes, so there's PNG alpha, that'll only work with PNG files. And then we've got this JPEG black and JPEG white. So you can play with those and see which one gives you the effect you're after. Here we've got this cycle run. What that'll do is run through the images in sequence depending on the speed which you control with this dial. So the lower it is, the slower it's going to cycle through them. But then as I go up, as you can see, it gets much faster. And if I start going into the minus figures, it goes backwards. So if I go this way, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. If I go backwards, it's going 3, 2, 1, 8, 7, 6, 5. So it's just whether it goes in reverse order or forwards. And then at 0, it's not doing anything. So that's basically it. It can be quite good if you wanted to put a logo on top. So for example, I've got my logo here. I can drop this PNG file in here. And then I've got my logo on top of this video. And it's still kept all the files I previously loaded. So I can still go back to those if I want. So let's have a look at what it looks like with some audio. Like any other parameter in any other module, I could automate this if I wanted. So let's say I wanted to do it on this MIDI clip. So it's currently selected the cycle speed. So let's say I want this to start at zero, so I don't want it to be cycling at all. But then on the second bar, I want it to go really fast. Then I want it to stop on the third bar. Oh, I need to get to see what, there we go. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. 
There we go, so it isn't doing anything now, but now, there we go, it's starting to cycle through them. Let's do it on the fourth bar as well. And then this is a four bar loop, so it'll stop when it gets back to here. So you can play about with the automation just like on any other module. Okay, so that's everything related to the alpha extension. Keep an eye on the channel for more Zwilbot videos coming soon. This is just a little addendum to the video because after I recorded that video, the developer of Zwilbot very kindly emailed me over the 2.9 versions of the Zwilbot suite. So these aren't live yet. They're still in beta mode. They're still being tested and refined. But he sent them over to me just so I can have a little sneak peek. And one of the modules that has been updated is the alpha module. So I thought I'd just quickly add a part to the video to show some of the new features of this. So it's these two features here. We've got scroll and run. And what they do when you turn scroll up, it'll move the alpha image up or down depending on which side of the dial you've got it and the further you go the faster it gets so moving it to the right will make it scroll up moving it to the left will make it scroll down and then you can control the speed of it run does the same thing but instead of up and down it's left and right so if i move it to the right it's going to move to the right move it to the left it's going to move to the left so a couple of nice new features i don't know when this will be launched and made public, but I assume it'll be coming soon.